my name is Julia Stumpf and I'm a librarian at IU School of Medicine's Ruth Lilly Medical Library. This is the second video in the EBM Topics Risk series, and in this video we will discuss relative risk. The learning objectives for this video are define relative risk in the context of medical studies, explain the difference between absolute risk and relative risk, and calculate relative risk in a medical study. Take a few moments to recall from the last video how to calculate risk. Risk is the number of times an event happens divided by the number of possible times an event could happen. It is important to know that in scholarly and in popular literature, there are different ways of referring to risk. They are relative risk reduction, absolute risk reduction, relative risk, and absolute risk. For now, let's focus on relative risk and absolute risk. Absolute risk is the chance of an event happening over a period of time. For example, this could be the chance of a 50-year-old male smoker has of developing lung cancer this year, or the chance a 50-year-old male non-smoker has of developing lung cancer this year. Relative risk, sometimes known as risk ratio, compares the absolute risk in two different groups. For example, let's compare the risk for lung cancer in two different groups. A group of 50-year-old smokers is 40 times more likely than a group of 50-year-old non-smokers to develop lung cancer this year. In other words, the smoker group is 40 times more likely than the non-smoker group to develop lung cancer. The relative risk is 40. Let's try a non-medical example to reinforce this concept. What is the absolute risk of picking any heart card out of an ordinary deck of playing cards? You are correct if you guessed 25%. It doesn't mean it will always happen one in every four picks. However, the chance or risk of you picking a heart card out of an ordinary deck of playing cards is one in four or 25%. How about this one? What is the absolute risk of picking the ace of diamonds out of an ordinary deck of playing cards? 52 cards. There is only one ace of diamonds in a deck of 52 cards. So there is a one in 52 chance or risk of picking the ace of diamonds. That equals 0.019 times 100 equals 1.9%. In other words, there is less than 2% chance or risk that you will pick the Ace of Diamonds out of a deck of 52 cards. What if we compared these two risks to each other? We would compare 25% to 1.9%. Let's do the calculation. We would take 0.25 and divide that by 0.019 in order to get the relative risk of 13.16. When comparing the two risks, we could say 25% is greater than 13 times 1.9%. So the chance or risk of picking any heart out of a deck of 52 cards is greater than 13 times the chance or risk of picking the ace of diamonds out of that same deck. We just compared two risks, and this is called relative risk. In a therapy study, we might compare the risks in two groups of people, such as a treatment group compared to a placebo or control group in order to determine the relative risk. Often we refer to the treatment group risk as the experimental event rate. Likewise, we refer to the placebo or control group as the control event rate. Now let's calculate the relative risk. If we find that the risk of the disease with treatment is one in five or 20%, and the risk of the disease without treatment is three in five or 60%, the relative risk or the two risks compared is 0.2 over 0.6, which equals 0.33. This means that the treatment group is 0.33 times more likely to get the disease than the placebo group. Got it? Remember, absolute risk or event rate is the chance that an event will occur. Relative risk compares two different risks, event rates. 
The formula for relative risk is experimental event rate divided by control event rate. Thank you for watching this short video on relative risk. Questions? Feel free to contact us at the Ruth Lilly Medical Library. Be sure to check out our other videos and tutorials available through the library website.